Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, Neil Hogger, land specialist. Hey, today we're going to be on a property tour. I'm looking at the Dunn County 137. This is located outside of Menominee in the town of Elk Mound. And Lucy and I are going to take you through this property. It's a beautiful day and it's a good day to kind of review all this property and really take a look at it. So if you want to check out a great little property on the property review, we're going to get to Dunn County 137. Let's go take a look. Okay, so the Dunn County 137 is a great example of what management can do to a property. And a great management plan starts with a plan. And that's what they've done here. They've come in here and they've done some great uh, timber cutting. They've done food plots, they've put in trails. They've created uh, um, a lot of different areas to hunt in a lot of different ways and with outstanding access, no matter what the wind you could come in. So I'm gonna show you some of the features of this property and talk about the plan that these guys have implemented and how this might be a property that you're gonna be interested. So let's go take a look. Okay, well, the first and most notable thing about this property is that it's in the MFL program. That's the MFL close program. That's just a, simply a management program where they come in and they timber it like this and they create different age class diversity with different cut and different priorities. This cut here is called a shelter wood cut. And I talk about this a lot and you'll see this a lot with the MFL plans. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to create woody browse and bedding area and start to really get the regeneration, the early phase succulents and the forbs and the woody browse that benefits the deer so much. So in this property, they've done that in I'd say three or four years of different cuts at different stages throughout the property. And we're gonna take a look at it, but this is the first one. This is the MFL cut, a shelter wood. This is gonna grow up and be a jungle in a few years. It's gonna draw deer like crazy and provide great woody browse. So this is the first cut. Let's go to the second and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, now we're moving into uh, the second type of cut that is on this property. And that is a timber stand improvement. The goal of a timber stand improvement is to separate these trees and start to create some sunlight hitting the forest floor. And as a result, it has opened up the canopy so these, these trees can start to express themselves. Um, they're spacing out, they're gonna start putting on some girth on their, on their trunks, but it creates a lot of woody brows. And you can see this, this is maple that are popping up everywhere. And if you go through here, you're gonna notice like this, how every little tip is nipped off. See how that tip is nipped off? That's deer brows. And I tell you what, this is really important. This woody brows is so important to the, uh, the deer in the winter. But when I sell a property, it also adds to the overall story of biodiversity and they've done a great job here. So a timber stand improvement on a ridge and, and uh, there's a nice tree stand up there with trails going up as a result of this logging. So it's just a great, great habitat creating a lot of edge. So now we're gonna go to a clear cut and this clear cut happens to be about four years old, maybe three. And you're gonna notice the stem count in quite a difference from this to what you're about to see next. So guys, anytime that you look at a property and you're thinking about it from a hunting perspective, think about edge. Deer like to walk edge. And when you can create a plan and create pockets of different age class of uh, timber through logging or hinge cutting or habitat management and create edge, that's what you're looking for from a hunting perspective. So I'm walking on a trail here and you could see some pretty tall trees here. They've been thin, but this trail has created that edge. But then right on the other side of me is this. Now this was a clear cut just a couple of years ago and it has grown up into a jungle. Um, woody brows, briars, forbs, blackberries, soft mass. It's just, this is, this is food, it's habitat and it's shelter. And this is a hard edge. You can see how there's only a couple trees out in that clearing and then that edge created right here. So um, really good execution of a plan. Um, they've thought it out from a hunting perspective, from a habitat perspective. They've created these nice trails that I'm able to walk on. And they even have some box blinds up in the distance on the ridge. So it's got, it got that going for it. And when they turn this property over, I believe they're gonna leave these trees uh, or these tree stands and these box blinds here. 
So this is about as close to a, uh, a turnkey property that you can get, except food plots. And they've got some, and we're gonna take a look at that next. Now, when I list properties, and if you're selling a property, or if you're going to sell a property, nothing sells a property better than a good story. And it's not that you're making up false things, because you're not, but it, 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 a story, is what's gonna gain interest in, and actually it'll result in a better sale price because if the story is done well, and this story is management, it's, it adds value to the property and that's what we have here. So here's a perfect example, all right? This is a, this is a buckwheat field. And when I sold this property to this, uh, this uh, couple, this family, we noticed that there was a lot of sandy soil and I told them you're gonna to have to amend that soil so it starts to, it has more organic material, it's, it's gonna hold water, it's gonna do better. So they've come out here and they've planted buckwheat. Now this buckwheat is awesome because you could come in here and if you, I'm gonna turn this camera upside down. See how you can see down through here? You could actually see the ground and that is bare ground that is good seed to soil contact. You could overseed right into this in the spring lay this buckwheat down, just crush it over. It'll hold moisture. It'll protect those seeds. Those seedlings will pop up through that buckwheat. And it's kind of like a terrarium effect and it increases the organic material of, of the soil. So they've taken that to heart and they planted these fields with that in mind and they're rotating. So right over here, we have a, uh, I think this is oats and rye and I'm sure you're pretty sure there's some brassicas in here and that's what they have here. So they're rotating these fields and they're creating a mosaic of different food and habitats types all in here. They've got a nice box blind up there. You can sneak up there and overlook all that access. There's just a lot of things going on in this property. Um, so if you guys are looking for a well-managed property, this is one of them. This is the Dunn County 137. I'm outside of Menominee, Wisconsin. Um, the area here around Elk Mound is the little town where we're at, is selling for about 3,400 bucks an acre. But I think I, I have this list, I have to check my math on this, but I believe I'm about 29.80 an acre. A well-managed property, it's got timber uh, stand, a diversity, age class diversity, food plots, access, box blinds. It's lo local to Menominee and Eau Claire, great travel corridors, demographic and uh, a growth corridors. We talk about a lot, a lot of the positive things going on in this property and it's at a great price. So guys, if you're looking for a nearly turnkey property, the only thing I would add to this is more food. There's one more place we're gonna go. Let's take a look at it and you're gonna love the opportunity that I'm gonna show you next. You know, one aspect of a good hunting property that a lot of people overlook is the uh, is thermal cover. And this property has it. There's little pockets of these evergreens. And what happens is the deer, they get down inside here. And you can see how there's not much snow down in here. And um, if you were to take a temperature here in the middle of winter, uh, these balsam forests, uh, they'll be about a, a degree, maybe two warmer. It's out of the wind, so they don't have the, the thermal loss of heat. And this could be the difference between survival or not survival to a deer. So a really nice benefit of this property is it has a couple of these patches, thermal cover, really important feature on any good hunting property. Okay, if you guys know me and you've been following my vlogs, you know that I like to plant food plots and uh, there's nothing makes me happier than when I come into a property and I see this. Uh, here's a abandoned field that was once, I'm sure, an ag field. I'm gonna say this is about five acres in size and this uh, is on the uh, west end of this property. Um, this is food waiting to happen. Uh, you know, you see the, the habitat, it's not holding anything. It's just kind of wasted space, but this is ready to go. You come out here with a chainsaw and you cut down some of these volunteer trees that are growing up here in a day, a little bit of work. You don't even need a lot of equipment to do this. Chainsaw and a, and a backpack sprayer and toss some seed in the ground, you're gonna get some growth. But uh, this could be a great row crop, soybean or cornfield. Man, what a fantastic draw that this would be on a property. So 
Um, so there you go. That's the property tour, guys. It has this property has everything that you're going to want in a good hunting property. It's in a great location and demographic growth corridors that I mentioned earlier. It's near a couple big cities, so you know you're going to have equity gain because people are going to want to hunt. They're going to want these recreational properties. Uh, it's uh, it's got the age class diversity. There's been a great logging program uh, implemented here with that managed forest law program in the closed version of that, so nobody else is going to access it. Uh, it lowers the the, the uh, taxes so you got low taxes you got food plots there's excellent trail systems I mean this is about as turnkey as you can get in on a property if you're interested you should give me a call because I love showing this property this is probably the best property I have on the market right now with the management in mind and it's and it's been developed by two fantastic hunters that are they really know what they're doing so I hope you've enjoyed this video and you'll give me a call hey if you like this kind of stuff hit that like button down there below give me a thumbs up send me a message and if you want to take a look at this property Property. Give me a call. I'll bring you out here. We'll tour you around. Uh, Lucy and I will we'd love to show you. Where, where are you going? <laughs> She's a little camera shy. Hey, I'm Neil Hogger and I'm a land specialist with Whitetail Properties Real Estate. That's Lucy the Land Lab. We want to make this property yours. Give me a call. Come on, Lucy. <laughs>